Hello, I'm Dave and welcome to Littleton. So I'm on my lunch break and this is how I'm building it, is bit by bit. And today, on today's lunch break, I'm just going to paint this piece of cork so that it matches the ballast. The ballast that I use is Gauge Masters GM118, which is a granite ballast for N gauge. I like to use it because I feel the smaller stones give a more realistic look to the track. Here's some track I've done previously, and as you can see, the colour of the cork roughly matches the broad colour of the aggregate, even though it's made of a mix of dark and light colours. To achieve this, all I did is use some acrylic paints, uh, cheap and cheerful ones off of Amazon or from B&M. Um, they're really not very much, I think they're like £2 or whatever. I bought a couple of sets for a few quid and then bought some extra white acrylic as well off Amazon. And uh, and so to make the grey, I'll just mix uh, a big splodge of the white and then just keep adding um, small droplets of black until I reach the correct um, colour. Just start off with a small drop of black first and then mix that, see how it looks. And if I need more black, I'll add it. And if I need more white, I'll add that. So as you can see, that's far too light. But uh, what I like about using these cheap acrylics is they, they kind of dry the same colour as they look so it's fair so once you get the wet mix to match this um you know you're pretty much safe to paint it not like other paints where you where it looks one color when it's wet and then dries a different shade so getting there just need to go a little bit darker i think so there it is mixed i think that's a okay match i think it's close enough um I'm not too worried about uh, getting out all the streaks and everything because um, this is, after all, uh, a mixed mix of uh, shades. So it works okay when it's um, spread out onto the cork. If it's uh, coming up pat patches slightly lighter, slightly darker, it, it will uh, it will ultimately blend in with the gravel. So I'll start at this end and uh, work my way up. Let's prove that light. Actually, I think that's probably a bit too light. I'll add a bit more dark. Okay, so I've added a bit more black, and that seems to be a perfect match now. There we go, and I'll just slap it on. Like I say, it kind of like you don't have to mix it in too well. It still works once the ballast is on, uh, even if it's a bit patchy, because the ballast is, after all, patchy. Just need to make sure that uh, you cover everything all right. I'm just using a knackered old brush to do this. I mean it was na wasn't knackered up until a few days ago when I left PVA glue on it to dry. After I got the glue off it was knackered then. Okay, so just mixed up some more and uh, moved the light to make it a bit easier to um, see what I'm doing. I was casting a shadow on my own work a second ago. Um, and something worth remembering is it's best to, you know, I'm using the centre bit here. Because um, when you're trying to get the tone right, obviously if you over, if you add too much black it can affect the colour. <coughs> um, too much. So, but if you're working with larger quantities of paint... Uh, if you over add uh, too much black it doesn't take you so far over that you would need to add copious amounts of white it has less of an effect so um, you can it's easy so when using um, larger amounts of paint it's easier to fine-tune the tone is what I'm trying to say So there it is nearly done. Uh, it's all covered, but it's a bit patchy, so I'll make another lot of paint and then give it a final coating to make sure that uh, any 
patches of cork showing through are covered up. Remember to pay particular care to the uh, edge of the cork because of course um, the paint finds it harder to get into there and when you add the ballast that bit kind of stretches out and so any exposed cork will show through more easily although it wouldn't matter too much on this one because this is going to have platforms either side which will obscure the view of that so I don't need to be too careful here but on um, track that's going say that's raised up or going through countryside or something I'd need to be more careful there tiny drop more whoops too much add a smidge more white just to balance out that over too much black once again perfect time for the final coating okay and i'm just slapping it on nice and generously remembering to get it in those corners so that we don't have any shown through and an extra bit there where the cork's cracked as well okay there we go still a bit exposed there and a bit there Little bit extra on the join line, a bit more there, a bit extra room that bit. There we go, up and down, lovely. bit just there make sure the ends are covered superb now just to leave that dry and then come back up here tomorrow and do something else Wonderful thing about these acrylics, these cheap acrylics, is they wash off so easily. As you can see, I've had this ages and there's none of the paint stuck to it. It's cleaned up perfectly every time. And so with that, I'll call it job done. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video and I'll, um, I'll play a little, uh, little trains on the way out. Today's loco is the GWR Class 2721 number 2759 pannier tank.